let's embark on a fascinating thought exercise, a riddle of physics, if you will. Imagine the classic game of tetherball. A ball tethered to a string spins around a pole. In our analogy, the pole represents the mast of a sailboat or a wind turbine tower, while the ball symbolizes the relentless force of the wind, constantly exerting pressure on our pole. Now, under everyday conditions, the mast or tower structure manages this force quite adequately. But we're not here to discuss the mundane. No, we're interested in pushing the limits of these structures. What happens when we inject more energy into the system? As the ball spins faster or grows larger, the force exerted on the pole intensifies. This is analogous to a sailboat under heavy wind, heeling over, struggling to maintain balance, and at risk of swamping or even capsizing. Similarly, for a wind turbine, these increasing forces could threaten to topple the entire structure, demanding an ever more substantial foundation to prevent disaster. The traditional solution? Make the mast or tower bigger and stronger. Reinforce it. Beef it up to withstand the additional forces. But here's the rub. Scaling up these structures doesn't just mean making them larger. It means adding significant weight, complexity, and cost. The stronger and taller the mast, the heavier and more unwieldy it becomes. The same applies to wind turbines, where taller towers require deeper, more expensive foundations to resist the toppling force of the wind. But here lies our riddle. How do we balance this system without simply making everything bigger and heavier? In the past, we were constrained by the materials at our disposal. But today, we have access to advanced fibers like Dyneema and Spectra, materials that are extraordinarily strong and lightweight. These breakthroughs allow us to rethink the entire approach. Imagine now that instead of relying on just one tether ball, we introduce another on the opposite side of the pole. This new ball acts as a counterbalance. As the original ball spins faster and pulls harder, the counterbalance keeps everything in equilibrium, focusing the tension along a straight line. The brilliance of this solution is that the pole, the mast, or tower remains largely unaffected by the increased forces. We don't need to make the pole thicker or heavier. In fact, with materials like Dyneema, we can effectively eliminate the need for a traditional mast or reduce the structural demands on a wind turbine tower. The forces are balanced so precisely that the pole doesn't bear the full brunt of the load. This approach is much like solving an algebra problem, finding balance on both sides of the equation. Instead of reinforcing one side with brute force, we adjust the other to achieve a more elegant and efficient solution. So, as we push the limits of what sailboats and wind turbines can do, the answer to our riddle lies not in making everything bigger, but in achieving balance. And that, dear listener, is the genius behind kite engine technology, a system that harmonizes with the forces of nature rather than fighting against them, achieving efficiency and stability through innovative design.